and this is part 13 of building CRM using Django and Vue. Today's part we're going to install Stripe and start implementing it a little bit. The first thing we want to do is to install Stripe to our project and to do that we need to go to the command line and stop the web server and it's easy to install because you just need to run pip install Stripe and that was actually the first task done already. So we can set this task to done. Now we're going to, go to continue with Stripe and the first thing we want to do is to create a Stripe account. I have already done it but you need to do it now. Just go to stripe.com and sign up. And you've done that you will go get into the dashboard. And here you have a button called developers and in here you have something called API keys. These are something we're going to need in this project. So first just click the publishable key to get it. And I need to go to settings.py and here we want to add it. So add a command stripe. And I'm going to say stripe pub key equals and then paste it in there. And a reveal test key to get the secret key. This is the one we're going to use on the server, which no one should know about. Then I copy this. So then I say stripe secret key equals and paste it in there and save. So now I have the two API keys here. So I can then go to the to do list. As you can see here, next test was to create, set this to done, and then the next step was to get the API keys. And next, I want to create two products because I want one for the small team and one for the big team. So go back here and then we have something called products and we can add product small team and then it's pricing should just be standard pricing change this to US dollar and say ten dollars recurring monthly and save product so then we have this we can copy this API ID because this is going to be needed to buy this product. You can go and add this to the settings.py file as well. Stripe uh, price ID small team equals like that. And we want to do the same thing for the big team. Big team. This can be $25, I think it was the price, recurring and monthly and save product. So then we copy the API ID again, create a new variable here, stripe price ID big team equals and paste it in and save. So now we have the API keys for everything we need for now from stripe. So I can set this task as well to done. Before I continue, I just want to say thanks to my Patreons. If you too want to support me, you will find a link to my Patreon in the description below. Our next step now is to make the public key available in the plans page. So I need to create a new API view so I can get this from the server. I could just paste it statically into the view file, it's just that then you have to do this twice when you deploy this to the server and similar. So it's easier to just do it the right way. So in the team, we can have it here. Create a new API view. At API, oops, API view. They should only use get. Def get stripe pub key request and here we can just say pub key equals settings dot stripe if I can go back here now and copy this name the pub key it's important that it's not the secret key like that and now you see I get new error here that's because we need to import Django from Django Import settings, I think. No, this is supposed to be Django.conf 
import settings. So we can access variables in the settings.py file. And then we can say return response. And then in here, I think we can just say pub key like this. And save. See if we get any errors. No, not for now at least. So we can copy this. Go to the URLs. And then we can add it here. It might be a little bit weird to use the team. So we can call it something else in here. Stripe slash get API key. And then we paste in this name like that. And now we just need to append this to the list of views. So this is the address we want to call to get the publish key from the server. And we can save this. And we can find the plans.view page. And here I can say pub key default is to empty. But when we mount this, we want to call this.get pub key. Now I want to call this function async get pub key like that. And we can copy this loading here. False. And then we want to get it from the server. So I can copy this and just modify it a little bit. Copy and paste. And instead of saying upgrade there, we should say stripe get pub key. I think that was the address. If I go back to URLs, get stripe pub key. Like that. I guess I console.log response.data just to see what we get from the server. Dot error catch error, of course. In case we get any console.log error. Great. So then we can save, try to go to the plans page. Team change plan. Okay. This just keeps loading. Data is not defined. But there was no error as I can see. Response. No, sorry. This data was not. Of course. And this needs to be changed to a get request. Sorry. Okay, so if I now refresh, you see that we got the pub key here. So now it's available and I can say this dot pub key equals response.data.pub key. So now we have it available in this template which we're going to use when we submit the payment to Stripe. So now I can find my to-do list and I can set this task to done. And then I just want to initialize Stripe in the front end. And to do that I need to find a file here in the public folder called index.html and below the title here I want to say script src https colon slash slash js.stripe.com slash v3 and then close it. Now we have stripe included but we need to initialize this also on the plans page. So here I want to create one more variable or property called stripe this can be default to null and when we mount this we want to say this dot stripe equals stripe so then we use the stripe we included and in here we send this dot pub key the problem now is that we can go to this before this is finished so we need to set this to async I want to wait for this to finish before we go to the stripe and initialize it. So if we save now, fresh, just get a warning here that says that we are using HTTP, but that's fine for testing. Great. So now we have also initialized stripe. Great. So then I can set the last task to done. And in the next part of the series, we're going to do the rest of this, where we are going to make it possible to click this, and then the payment will be sent to Stripe. We get the information back using a webhook, and then we can uh, 
finalize the payment. But that's next time. If you have any questions about the code in this video, feel free to leave a comment below. See you in the next video.